Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. Today I am downtown, yes, downtown Chinatown in San Francisco, the oldest Chinatown in America from my understanding. And so I have been looking for some good food. Uh, I'm right in the heat of it. It's really cool. There's like, you know, all the markets and everything up the street. It's getting a little late in the evening, so some places are starting to close down. But anyway, you know what I really do like, and I have done a long, long, long time, Szechuan. So Szechuan cuisine. And so I looked it up, and the best Szechuan restaurant we have is right here, guys. We're talking ZNY, ZNY Szechuan cuisine. So it's really cool about ZNY, is I just looked this all up. So it's uh, owned by a famous chef called Chef Han. Um, he was like, ra like born, trained to serve presidents. So he was serving Chinese presidents. He served American presidents. I believe Barack Obama came here. Um, he has served all kinds of different celebrity chefs and everything, which is super cool. So I'm super pumped. And again, what this place was really known for is just like that authentic Szechuan cuisine. They are not, you know, mixing it. it is like, it is Szechuan, Szechuan, Szechuan. They actually also got on like a Michelin list, which is super cool. So very notable um, kind of restaurant recommendation. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to order some food. Let's have some fun, guys. I like some of my favorite Szechuan dishes of those like the peppercorns, the you know, so um, and I love. I'm um, usually I get like green beans. Sometimes they have some really cool shrimp dishes. But anyway, let's go on in. Let's have some of these food. I'm gonna uh, probably ask for a little bit for their recommendation. Also go with my preferences. And like we said, guys, the best tasting, the best Chinese, the best Szechuan cuisine down here in San Francisco, California. So let's that. Let's head in. Let's eat. Hi right, everyone, so here we are with an absolute pile of food. I am super excited. We have so many good looking dishes in front of me. Um, so I'll kind of walk you through what we have here. So I ordered some of my favorites and some recommendations as well. So right here we have the creamy prawns with a honey walnut. I also got myself some string beans. I love this style of string bean. I have their house special, which is a fresh fish filet boiled in a hot spicy sauce. I got their chicken with an explosive chili. I got the spicy cauliflower in the mini flaming pot. There's literally a fire under this which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, we have some of their tea smoked duck as well. And then I have their spiced pork with a, uh, I believe it's like a garlic sauce or something. So this looks really awesome. This is an appetizer. Guys, I'm so, so, so pumped. I love Szechuan. Just we're talking like, you know, a, a, a meal with so many flavors, not just spicy, but spice is that warming, numbing sensations. So I am so excited to get into this. Where do we start? I don't know, but let's dive on in. So I'm gonna start with probably one of the, this here. This is one of their appetizers. Appetizers. This was the uh, pork and the cucumber. So it's actually like a thin piece of pork, cucumber rolled inside with that garlic sauce. Mmm. Ooh, wow. Really fresh cucumber. Actually, a little bit of spice to that. Mmm. Ooh, wow. Mmm. A great crisp, a crunch. It's one of the favorite appetizers. I definitely see why. I like that a lot. It's super nice and light. Like I said, that, that pork and cucumber is just like paper thin. Very, very nice flavor. All right. That was awesome. We're off to a really good start. Next, I'm probably gonna try some of these string beans, guys. These are like a dry saute. They got the chili. We got that black kind of uh, black bean in there. Mm. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Guys. That garlic. Mmm. It is sweet, it's salty, it's zingy. This is one of my all time favorite Szechuan dishes. And it goes so, so, so well. It's just so flavorful. Man, this is delicious. Try this uh, cauliflower with the uh, pork. The flaming sizzling dish. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's like a lovely little slice of pork belly. Mmm. Cauliflower cooked perfect. Al Dante, it's a lovely, sweet and savory sauce. Woo, it got a little bit of a kick. A very delicious kick, but it got some heat to it. Mm. I tell you, this is like those real Szechuan flavors, guys. With the chilies, that pork is so, so, so rich. Mm. Just here, just have a, have a look at that nice, gooey, delicious, dripping cauliflower. Mm, wow. Mm, oh man, that pork is like, it almost tastes cured or something. Reminds me of like a ham. Dang, that's good. And that spice perfectly balances it. I love that. Mm, 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 mm. I just love that flavor. 
It's such a nice warming, <laughs> delicious flavor. That is sweet. Oh, spicy. Yes, that is a must do. I'm gonna try this fish. So guys, this is the um, flaming fish in the kind of the chili oil. So definitely, if I look at this, we're getting some real oil to it, but it looks delicious. Again, look at that, just oily chiliness. There's lots of chilies in this. They said it was pretty spicy, I believe it, but. Oh my God. Mm. Guys, wow. The fish is so tender. And this is, this is Szechuan right here, guys. My mouth is numb. From that one bite, my mouth is numb. If you're familiar with the Szechuan peppercorns, they just have this lovely numbing, like warm sensation. Mm. Szechuan is a very cold place, right? So they eat a lot of like warming foods. And we turn to spices to do so. I don't think there's many times in your life that you're gonna be like, wow. My mouth just went numb. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. No, I'm just kidding. Guys, this is amazing. Your mouth will go numb, but in the best way possible. Shut up there, but it's just like, it's literally just like fall apart. Like. Mm. Wow. Guys, that is phenomenal. I know I did ask, you don't consume the liquid of this, so like you just eat the fish out of it. At first I was like, is this like a soup? But it's not like a soup. It's a lovely, basically like soft cooked, almost poached fish. Cucumbers, that's all I can say guys, just wow. It's so numbing and very, very good. My mouth is so numb. Like, wow, what a feeling, what a great flavor. Really unique dish, it's basically fish in a chili oil essentially, which believe it or not, although it sounds really rich, it was surprisingly not oily tasting, despite it being kind of like in a chili oil. All right, let's try this chicken with the explosive chili. This looks great, it's like a, kind of like a fried chicken. And I love, look at this, there's so many, so many freaking chilies on here. Ooh, my mouth is numb. But it's damn good, but my mouth is numb. Mmm, wow. Okay, guys, on the bottom, the bottom we got this lovely chili oil, got some garlic. Looks like that pretty much. But it's crisp, it's crunchy. Mm. These chilies are great. Beautifully flavored little sashimi on top. This is one of the people's favorites. And I see why. It's really good. Just getting that Szechuan flavors, that garlic, less of a peppercorn. They call it explosive chili oil. I'll be honest, nothing I've had here is even with like all these chilies, to me is like spicy, like unbearably spicy. There's a really nice spice to it. Really nice flavor, that bite. Perfect Szechuan flavors. But none of it's like killing me with spice so far. Um, as I'm talking, this is actually starting to build a little bit. My mouth is burning a little more than I just anticipated a minute ago. But great flavors. I think it's a big misconception. Some people think Szechuan, I think also spicy, but it's spices and spice, duh. And it is spicy. This actually, I take this back. This is pretty spicy the more it's building, but I spoke too soon. But damn good. Yeah, okay. The, uh, explo the chicken with the explosive chili, I wanted to try because of the name, and it is damn fire. There's also like so oh, yeah. many chilies in here, but like it's awesome. Like you can eat them all, but yeah, you pick the chicken right out of it. But the garlic is great. Mm. Those scallions, very, very delicious. I do like that. We got this freaking lovely shrimp that I love so much. It's like a, it's a sweetness. It's like honey and it's mayonnaise, which is like, honey and mayo sounds like a weird combo, but on this shrimp, lightly battered fried shrimp. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna throw in this bit of like walnut. I just gonna show this. Cause there's like a walnut almost like brittle with this. I've never had one with like that. Mm. Oh man. Oh yeah, sweet candied walnuts. Woo! Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, it is so good. I love the peanut brittle, I love the shrimp. I'm gonna come back to this. I'm just diving this duck. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful presentation. This is the half, the uh, tea smoked duck. I did get some um, little crepes. You can get crepes optionally, and or you can get like the duck sauce, the scallions and the cucumber if you wanna make some little like duck tacos. I'll try the duck first, just by itself. I tell you, really good like looking skin on it. You can see the nice color of the meat from the smoke. Wow, 
Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Revolutionary. We talk about the flavor. Guys, you get that lovely, almost like smoked barbecue flavor. But it's so nice and light because you're using tea. The flavor of that duck with the, that little bit of smoke in there, there's an amazing seasoning on that. I have never had a duck seasoned like that before. That skin. Mm, holy crap. Guys, the seasoning. Phenomenal. Okay, like I said, I've never had a tea smoked duck. That is damn good. I actually think I like better than a Peking duck. I love smoked meats, guys. If you don't know, I love smoked meats. I love everything smoked. Anything smoky just gets me going. And especially, like I said, with the seasonings that are on this. So I got some on there. I'm gonna throw on these, uh, some cucumber. We'll do some scallions as well. So we got a good looking, good looking kind of mini duck taco. Throw on a little bit of this duck sauce, nice sweet richness. A little duck taco. Mm. That little bit of sweetness adds a great addition, but I gotta say, it doesn't need it. This has such a good smoked flavor to it. That succulent meat has a really good richness, but it's not oily at all. There's some homemade spicy sauce. Thank you. And a, you can also roll it up on the... A homemade spicy sauce, I appreciate it. Let's give this a shot. It looks like a nice uh, kind of Szechuan style chili. Oh my gosh, wow. Whatever this is, get this. Get this right away whenever you come here. It's like an explosion in your mouth. A little bit of spice, just a burst of a burst of flavor. I'm gonna try it by itself. Lots of garlic, onion. So let's try it just with the... Uh... Oh my lord. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah, this stuff is just still as good as like... I cannot, like... I guess the... Yes, they have the crepes. This duck doesn't need the crepes, y'all, buddy. This Szechuan style sauce they gave me is just phenomenal. I'm in love. Shout these legs, too. These legs are amazing. They're great crisp on them. Mm. Woo! And like I said, what I like about this duck so much, I think, is it's not oily. Even the lettuce has like a... Like a citrus zest on it. Well, pretty much everybody, that's more or less it. Um, I'll have another one of these, uh, well, I'll probably have a couple of these shrimp, let's be honest, but a lot of food, no shortage, I'm definitely filling up a bit. Honestly, that, that was exceeded my expectations. Let's a, grab one of these shrimp, guys. These are some of my favorite. If you've never had one of these, like, sweet, succulent, creamy shrimps with the walnut, walnut cluster. Mm. Wow, honey and mayo. Under no other circumstance in my life did I ever think I'd be honey and mayo. But on these, these are fantastic. So these greens, they aren't citrus flavored like the other one, but shout out the shrimp and these walnuts, guys. I really do like Szechuan cuisine, though. It is delicious. I love the numbingness, the peppercorns. That fish dish was a die for. Yeah, that was exceptional. Um, the sap been super nice here as well, guys. So huge thank you to all of them. My favorites. If I had to pick favorites, the creamy honey walnut shrimp were delicious. I love that, and I knew I did. It's one of my all-time favorites. And they do it really well here. I love the walnut clusters. That was a great addition. So I like that. It was great. I think what surprised me the most, honestly, which was a recommendation of the staff, was that, well, two things. The tea smoked duck was amazing. I was expecting to be more like a Beijing duck or a Peking duck, but no, no, no. This was fantastic. Just the flavors on that skin, everything was delicious. I love that. The other thing was the um, cauliflower, the dish with the cauliflower in that pork, that sizzling dish. Oh man, I'm full. That was amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just super, super, super like, Delicious flavor. I love the, the 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 pork in it. Like I said, it was almost cured. It was kind of like a ham it reminded me of. Finally, I think my favorite dish was the fish. Guys, the fish was amazing. I've never had a fish like that. I just love those Szechuan peppercorn flavors, that numbing of the mouth. It was so like, that's what you want when you come to Szechuan. You want flavor, you want that like visceral experience, not just taste and visuals, but your mouth, like that physical, it was awesome. That's about it, I hope you enjoyed. Again, super cool location down here in the Chinatown San Francisco, which is the oldest Chinatown in uh, America from my understanding. Um, but yeah, this is a great place. Gonna want authentic Szechuan food. There's only one of the very few 
Actually, maybe the only place to get like legit, authentic Szechuan. That's what they're known for. That's what they're you know said to. Famous chef, you know, cooking for Chinese presidents, cooking for American presidents. Um, this place is 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 really cool. I definitely recommend it. Again, it's on the kind of the Michelin Trail as well, which is cool. Definitely a not notable um, uh, uh, award to get. So yeah, Z and Y, I definitely recommend shopping on by. But that's about that, guys. So. Till next time, of course, a happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think your favorite dish down below or what your favorite kind of Szechuan or Chinese food is. Um, and that, everybody, that's about it. Whew. A lot of food. Filling food and warming. Definitely warming. I was warming up, that's for sure. So, till next time, everybody. Basically, I appreciate you. That's it. Have a day. Here we have some views and imagery of downtown San Francisco. Definitely got some great big buildings. Um, really cool city. I don't know, I get like this weird like hominess, small town, really cool vibe to it. It just doesn't seem like an absolute concrete jungle. Don't get me wrong, right now this is pretty concrete jungle-y, but it just, that's just not the feel of it. I get like a really cool hip kind of community vibe. And when I say hip, I don't really mean like, hipster i just mean like unique and uh i like it a lot in so feet, turn there we left go. The Bush street. oh i promise you i will turn google left on the Bush street. i promise you i will don't gotta tell me twice i'll tell you that much we're going on bush street that damn for sure but i will say guys super cool um it's a little rush hour -y, so we're gonna try to you know focus on our driving but you guys san francisco beautiful and super cool city what do you think everybody so People I say, hey Joel, why don't you get or gain weight? Well here, let's hop on the scale this morning. Uh, let's see what this says. Oh, look at that guys. We were over three hundred pounds.